Good morning, Wi-Fi land all over the world today. We greet you in the name of the captain of our salvation, the man in the glory, he who has opened a way to take us to the glory, the Lord Jesus Christ in his name. Amen. Well, last week, if you were watching Wi-Fi land, uh, I mentioned that I had a dream and it was about perfect peace. Uh, and I uh, remembered Isaiah 26, 3, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee, for he trusteth in thee. Well, as you can imagine, uh, it all fell apart. I lost my peace this week. And when I, when I noticed I had lost my peace, I says, let's backtrack and see what happened. So I identified three disappointments that happened in my life this week. Uh, disappointments that I picked up and uh, I put down my piece. And so uh, the first one was, you know, I'm selling a, a, our family car. It's like we've had it for like 12 years. And so uh, a fellow made a deal with a fellow. He's in San Diego, took the car up to him. And then he, he without apology, he offered 25% less. And uh, so that, that was a disappointment because I already ordered a new car. And uh, then I had a family situation. It was a great disappointment. Uh, it was countered by uh, uh, good news, but uh, I picked up the uh, disappointment of the a family situation along with the disappointment of the car, and then I had a, a disappointment in business and, and uh, at work, and I and I picked that up, and so I, I was carrying around these disappointments, and and I had put down my peace, and so I said, Lord, <laughs> I need to go back, and I went back, and 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 I found my peace. And I, and I said, Lord, I want you to take these disappointments and, and I want to give them to you because I want that peace that passes all understanding. I want that perfect peace. And then I remembered Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in Hebrews eleven thirteen, And it says they, and they all died in faith and that they confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on this earth. And so they, they lived in a tent. You know, they were tent dwellers. They were always on the move. They were just passing through, you know, a stranger in a strange land and a pilgrim on his way home. But then I compared that with Lot in 2 Peter 2, 8. And, and it says Lot was living in Sodom. He had a fixed location in Sodom and that was his home. And it says his soul was vexed, vexed. I said, Lord, I, I see that you can't have per perfect peace and a vexed soul at the same time. So we have to make a choice as to what we want. And I just thank God uh, for his tender mercies that if we, uh, the sooner that we recognize that we've lost our peace, uh, that, we, that we've that uh, we picked up things uh, that we shouldn't be carrying around, that we can cast them upon him, that the sooner we can get back the, to peace within our hearts and minds and really living for Christ. Uh, uh, may God bless his word to each one of us. And if you're without Christ, you'll never have peace. You can't have peace until you know the Prince of Peace, the Lord Jesus. Receive him as your Lord and Savior in his name. Amen.